There are many ways to address the struggles of agricultural resource management our world faces today. One of those involves multi-use land development. Take this example. Plants need sun to grow, that's obvious, but plants also have a limit to how much sun they can use. This is called the light saturation point, or quantum limit of photosynthesis. Any light beyond that point does not increase production, it just increases the water demand of those plants. Too much energy makes them sweat. We can productively harvest that excess light with solar panels, sell it, or repurpose it for on-farm use. This is called a dual use, or agrivoltaic system. The idea is that solar panels are installed above the crop and arranged to prioritize agricultural access. This is what I call an ag-prioritizing solar installation. This configuration has multiple benefits. Number one, the shaded plants use less water and increase their water use efficiency. Number two, the shaded plants experience less stress and are often more productive. And third, the local cooling effect of the plants helps to keep the solar panels cool, resulting in more electricity. It's a win-win-win. More food, more energy, less water. We can also repurpose that energy to help agriculture become more sustainable by focusing on electric tractors, electric generated fertilizer, and using the physical infrastructure of the agrivoltaic system to increase precision. For more on this and other examples, check out the next video.